What is up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today, I think we're gonna do what we kind of like hinted at in the last video. We're gonna get on a boat today. Today, we are going out with KS Water Sports. We have gone out with them before. They are a local excursion company here in Bermuda. We are specifically at the Hamilton location that is behind the Hamilton Princess. But KS Water Sports is an awesome company. They offer jet skis. They offer boats that you can rent and drive yourself. Parasailing. You know, parasailing. They have boats that you can have a captain for, which is what we're doing today, so that Fane doesn't have to drive us around. Hold on, hold on, Laura. Okay, so we're lying to you guys. Um, you can see Laura's hair is wet. She won't ever leave the house like that. So we kind of already went on the on the boat, but we realized that our intro was kind of messed up, so we're doing an intro now. Nothing but honesty yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> and there goes our Aaron and our and our boat. But yeah, we had a really fun time, but let's go show them what we got into. Yeah, let's actually show you guys what this place is all about. Also, look at this telephone booth. This pink, like for like Bermuda sand pink. And if you guys are wondering, Bermuda is a British territory, so that's why there's a British telephone booth right here. And we also went on the boat with our family. <laughs> if you guys are wondering where KS Water Sports is in Hamilton, you go to the Hamilton Princess, you come to the back, come down these stairs, and it's right there. We had a hard time finding it our first time here. But yeah, let's go check out what we did. That look of concentration. We've got a beautiful Norwegian cruise ship in port today at Dockyard. And this is where all the cruise ships come into port. Time to play our favorite game called Catch the Drone. Oh. oh my gosh. Woo! Cover photo over here. I'm glad we were able to do this. And it's not even that hot because like it's clouds in the sky, so it's not like sun on you. We have this nice big cover with all this seating. I'm not melting yet. Oh, the Norwegian Pearl is in at Dockyard today. Is it our time to go in Norwegian? I don't know. You guys let us know. Leave it down in the comments down below if you think we should try out NCL. Yeah, because we've been hearing some things about them like turning nickel and dime, so I don't know. Yeah, and I haven't been in like over 10 years. And I've never been. This is Dockyard, so whenever you guys come on a cruise, this is where you'll be coming. A little fun fact, if you guys are coming off the cruise ship, you can walk this way or another cruise ship parks over there. And then you can catch the, this ferry into Hamilton. So you can go to the island's capital. So you don't have to take a bus all the way around or a taxi, it's a lot cheaper. Also fun fact, if you come on a cruise ship, you don't have to come to Hamilton. They also have a location in dockyards. So you can get skis like that, boats over there, similar to the ones that um, we're on right now. You can either book on the cruise ship or head up to that little blue building and they can get you all sorted. Next time, we're doing the jet skis for sure. They also have some super fun banana boats over here if you want to be pulled along by another boat and get whipped off of it into the water. <laughs> and this right here is our wonderful Captain Aaron. How's it going guys? My name's Aaron. I've been with the company for the last 10 years. I've been a boat captain for the last nine. We're in safe hands today. We're in safe hands. Sorry. So we're in safe hands today. What's your favorite excursion you guys do? Uh, that would by far our snorkel tours. I love when we get a flat calm day, we can take guests far offshore and really get to show them what Bermuda is really all about. Also, if you guys didn't know, Bermuda has some gorgeous waters to go snorkeling in. So if you guys are fans of snorkel, definitely hit them up. I'm like flying the drone at the same time. Time for the first drink of the day, I think. Oh yeah. Hi, I'm Laura, and this is my first drink of the day. Hey, vacation. These are so good. Woo. Oh yeah, look at that. They're testing the lifeboats over there. Hi, my name is Payne, and this is my first drink of the day. This is very unique to Bermuda. It's called a Wicked, and it's just pretty much like a wine cooler. And Payne chose this drink because it matches his hair. And it matches the water. Bonaire is nice, but Bermuda has it like hands down. Oh yeah, nothing beats Bermuda for me, honestly. This is still one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. For real, look at that water behind you. Like, geez, that's not even fake. That's real, the color of the water. But I think I'm also biased because you were made here. And that's kind of weird to say. <laughs> it makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> so yeah, we are here with my family and we are headed over to the shipwreck. The shipwreck is like all the way in the distance, but they're just like enjoying the water right now. Wow. Look at this. We gotta do those jet skis. I've never done a jet ski in Bermuda and I really want to. Bermuda also has some amazing, amazing fishing. So if you guys ever want to come here and go deep sea fishing, highly recommend it. Another little fun fact. 
this tiny little island right here is exactly where the Bermuda point of the Bermuda Triangle starts. And we're gonna go right through it. So we'll never see you guys again. But we got all these boats and other jet skis out here. So I think we're gonna be all right. And we're coming up on Bermuda's only roller coaster right here. The wake of these waves. Woo, hands up everybody. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> We are coming up on one of Bermuda's biggest attractions, the shipwreck that sticks out of the water. It is right here up ahead. See that? That's a ship. This is the HMS Vixen. Her whole job here goes on ships and hit them. The cop knows about that piece right there. We are getting right on top of this thing. Alrighty guys, so you're in the Bermuda Triangle now. It starts from the island directly to our left here called Daniel's Head Island. It goes from there to San Juan, Puerto Rico. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and right back. So you guys are now in the triangle. I can't believe you brought us here. Uh, I had to bring you here. <laughs> Good luck, guys. You got some bread for the fish. And they have oh my gosh. incredible eyesight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring them on this side of the boat since it's downwind a little bit. So I'll throw this piece of bread like a frisbee. Before it even touches the water, they're gonna be on it. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll test this out. That is wild. They were all over on the other side. <laughs> Literally, Aaron brought us right on top yeah. of the shipwreck. I have never been this close to it. That was a good throw, by the way. That was perfect. Oh yeah, it's two for two, two for two. I'm nice. He's got it. But they're literally following our boat because we've been feeding them. And then here's another jet ski tour pulling up right here. Did I bring, I probably didn't even bring the remote for that. Don't mind us. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the part of the day where Fane embarrasses me. By whipping out the world's longest pole. What is up guys, Editor Fane here. I noticed with all the excitement we forgot to say, if you're new here and you're hopefully enjoying the content or if you wanna see what else we get into, go ahead and hit that like button down below and also subscribe. Go ahead and start your seven day trial. It's free. You know what? You can always unsubscribe later. Hassle free. But if you're feeling a little bit more frisky, go ahead and click that join button down below and join our YouTube memberships or the Patreon link in the description down below for a few added perks. It really does help support your channel so we can keep bringing you content like this. But in all serious, thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. Now back to the video. Anything for the shot, right, babe? Yeah, anything for the shot. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. We're coming into a little cove right here, and I think we're about to like go do a little swimming. So right now we're coming into Ely's Harbor, and this is where you could possibly see like different types of sea life, like um, different fish and sea turtles and all that stuff. They have like little private beaches, like a little cove inside and like in the rock so i think we're gonna dock there and just like have a little beach day real quick before we go to the next spot look at that wow you ready to get in the water i am so ready to get in the water we got two parrot fish right in front of us we haven't even been here for two seconds and we're already seeing some nice little fish little <laughs> i'm gonna see if i can sneak up to these parrot fish right here so there's one like right there wow these things are huge. I'm just gonna give you guys this for a little bit because this is amazing. This shot right here. Look at that dog. He's living his best life. I thought life I was right hallucinating there. for a second. <laughs> the one thing that Bermudians do that tourists don't know until they get to the island. If you ever go swimming, usually, we saw this in the other vlog, usually wear shoes. This is the reason why a lot of these rocks right here are so like sharp because there's volcanic rock. So you can definitely hurt yourself if you fall or step on it. But if you wear shoes like this, you don't have to worry about that. Another shout out to KS Water Sports because this over here is literally a screen server. There we go, now we added the shades. <laughs> 
Look at this backdrop. It's like you're on a green screen or something. I'm standing too. This is perfect. Got the dark, dark and stormy. Got Hi, a sunny... I'm Laura. This is my second drink of the day. Laura, let's show them how clear this water is. Okay. That is my foot under the water. Look at that. I thought you were gonna like dunk me or something. Let's <laughs> no. show them how clear this water is. Let's see if I can see your face under the water. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see these birds. I'm trying to track them. But these are called Bermuda longtails, and they have long tails. Um, they're like the national bird of Bermuda, I believe. We are headed over to the private island, a private beach area. We were over there, but now we're just chilling. Yeah, I can literally just caught this island. Ooh. Yeah, I must have some money over here. <laughs> well, I've always seen these in pictures, but I've never actually taken photos there. You know, this is nice, palm trees and everything. <laughs> So glad I'm able to do this with my family. Right here is the Pompano Hotel. And Aaron said at low tide, I think you can walk from all the way over here. All the way through that dock. Out to, yeah, that pole right there. Yep. This is one of the most popular hotels on the island and it sells out pretty quickly. Also, I'd like to point out that Fane's hair perfectly matches the gradient from the dark water to the light water. All right, let's get this shot. As Laura showed you guys, but I want to show you how, just how clear this water is over here. Oh God, please don't break it. I'm gonna take this bottle. Look at that. That's how clear this water is in Bermuda. Yeah, that's how, how clear that is. Does it ever get old to you? Um, yeah, I got tired of it when I was younger. It's like, ah, blue water, yeah. That's your forecast, we'll be right back. We're starting to head back now, but the fun thing about this is, right in the distance, we see the cars going over. That's the world's smallest drawbridge, and we're about to go under it. And it's not even the whole thing, it's that little, foot wide center in the middle is like the drawbridge. That is for like those that have masses and all that so they can like skinny all the way through. Very small margin of error right there. So if you never knew Bermuda had a little Guinness World Record, there you go. Laura, I found your friends. They made us, they came from Florida just to see you. My ducks. All the, all the ducks oh are coming. Oh my gosh. Oh good. Oh boy. Coming out of the trees and everything. Jeez, the woodwork. Got so many of them. We got the green light. And we're headed in. Wow. Oh, there's the gap. <laughs> and on to the other side. And there we go. We're right through the bridge. And now we are finally back at the Princess where we started this morning. Oh, look, that's the boat we rented last time we were here, the Boston Whaler. Was that fun, Laura? It went by so fast. It really did. Too fast, but it was it was great. And I'm really glad it turned out to be like a really nice day. There we go. I'm so glad we were able to do this again. I'm sad. I think I could probably do the full day version, which they have an eight hour full day. I am kind of glad to go back and shower and nap, though. Who said that? We got more stuff to do today. Like go eat? That's later. We can shower and nap. I'm hungry right now. <laughs> There's chips in the cooler. How'd you guys enjoy your time? It was awesome. great. It was so much it was great. great. Yeah. I had really enjoyable time seeing part of Bermuda. Laura, that's, that was us back in 2020. That was a lot of fun, but kind of scary. And we got Captain Johnny Fay. Yeah, we gotta watch out for some reefs because we don't want to get shipwrecked out here. And now that we're back at the Hamilton Princess, back on dry land, I just want to say a huge thank you to KS Water Sports for hooking it up and getting us a little boat for me, us and the family. Yeah, we were so excited to finally work with them and it was honestly a dream yeah. and we'll definitely be working again with them in the future. So please, please check out KS Water Sports next time you come to Bermuda. Yeah, they have them at the cruise port like we showed you and in Hamilton, so, and they're really friendly and all that. And very accommodating. Yeah, <laughs> I really want to do those jet skis over there. One day, one day. One, day. one nap later. 
All right, so we have gone back to the Airbnb, changed, showered, took a nap, and now we are back at the Princess for some delicious dinner. I had one of those classic, like, chip and cheese and ham sandwiches. After swim snack? Yeah, those always hit so much different after you get in the ocean. We are headed to dinner, 1907, I think it's 1908. 1609. 1609. <laughs> we looked at it when we were first down here, say, at the Princess, but now we're actually getting to try it because it wasn't open. It looks like a really fancy restaurant, so we'll see how fancy the prices are. Do you want to show off your dress? I don't think you've ever worn this, have you? You always catch me off guard with that. Uh, no, this is a newer one. It is, I mean, it's from Beachy. You want to do a little twirl? <laughs> like selling little a broken twirl? record, sure. You seem so nervous. Is it because, like, all the people around? No, it just, like, it doesn't fit exactly how I wanted it to. I wanted it to be, like, a little more flowy, so I don't know. I feel a little self-conscious in it, but... We'll do a little... There you go. Nice. With my purse that Bing got me. Proper name of the restaurant is 1609. That's the year the burrito was founded. Oh, is that why it's called that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just thought it was a cool name. So here's the menu for 1609. You guys can pause it if you want. You can see the prices are pretty expensive. $30 for a burger. Mexican burger, $30. Wow. It is a hot one today. It looks like it's inside, but it's pretty open. No AC here. Sorry, but these are small plates. Why is jalapeno cornbread $19? That doesn't make any sense. Laura, do you see anything you want? So I was about to order the quesadilla, burria, but then I just saw they have a charred corn salad and you can add chicken to it. And that sounds really refreshing and nice. So now I'm torn. Here's a Bermuda sunset for you. It's not the prettiest, but once it goes down again, You'll get, hopefully you'll get some pinkness in these clouds. So if you know me, you know I absolutely never, or almost never get frozen drinks, especially frozen margaritas, but it has been so hot here, I felt like I needed one. So this is what I got. They have a special on Mondays. And so I got the 1609 frozen margarita, it's the special margarita of the week, and this one is strawberry flavored. And honestly, it's actually really good. Although I wouldn't say it tastes like a margarita, more like a smoothie but it's cold and I'll take it. Also, this is reminiscent of Disney Cruises. They have cloth napkins. I think you owe me something. I think you owe me something. Thank you. Love you. The clouds are starting to get that pink hue on them. Don't miss there. So here's what I got. It's some tiger shrimp with some cream sauce and rice. So I got the quesadilla. So basically like a quesadilla with like consomme that you can dip. And it came in a tiny little pot. There you go, fancy. Isn't that cute? Ooh, what is that? The shrimp. Oh. Also, that's my mom. If you can't tell, we look alike. If you guys have been here since we went to LA earlier this year, Laura likes some burrito. I'll probably, you know what? Throw in a clip of Laura eating the burrito for the first time. This is a small. Let's drink it. I bet you won't. So happy. Oh, and she got another drink too. Bottoms up. Ooh. It kind of tastes like cologne, but in a good way. Cologne? That's not a what is what is good about cologne? Yeah. Two hours later. This is what happens when Laura gets bored at the dinner table and she's tired. <laughs> Well guys, that is it for our wonderful day in Bermuda. We had such a great time. It was pretty tiring. We did take a nap, but dinner was also amazing. And I just, I don't know, it's just nice hanging out with you guys. And I also got a little bit of a sunburn today. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with the sunscreen, you guys, but please send help. Maybe we should just make our own sunscreen. Then we would know exactly what you want or what you need. But again, thank you guys for watching. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you check out that video right there when we got on a private yacht in Bonaire. It was pretty dope. And we lived our best below deck dreams.